Seaside Star for Evil Geniuses. This is the first map of the series. This is uh, Nuke. And this is going to be a long one. You can only imagine. Nitro's pushed inside of the lobby in this round. He's being held. Ethan's ready. The man with utility. Not the man you want to die first, considering EG still need to perform and execute in this round. Liquid have pushed up on ramp with a leech dink. They're going to double back. Bail from this position. It gets smoked off. EG are aware of it. They're in full control of this round. And they're going to start to wrap main to take this top site. Oh, twists flashed, but still an unknown entity here. And oh, goodness, no one's checked for him. Thank oh, oh, never man. mind. He does manage to double up. Is that going to be enough, though? Has a liege coming on the back to make this one look doable. It's Ethan in the 1v1, and he manages to cement it. Three kills for him in that round there. Better time to start than the present, so Leech down lower has got to stop this entourage of T's as they head through the secret stairwell. Door is open. They're going to shut it. Ethan waiting for a fight from the top of the site. He's got a crossfire for Rap as well. Stewie going to go out wide with a lot of damage to Tarek, but Leech gets tagged up in the meantime. Nice kill. Does at least get away with one. Stewie needs the same, but he will get dropped by the Kriegs. Up for EG. Naf now in the win they line up and he gets one at least still low hp on Tarek. 25 seconds for this plant to happen and Cirque's got up upper he's taking that top site there's no one here and he's gonna get a free plant for it map on the awp well he's got to find another way up there to defuse the problem Cirque has pushed all the way through the hut now there's gonna be an awkward skirmish right here if naf reads this if he gets the shot off i would be disgusted and he can't so at least twist and a one on two he's already out in the site he's already got a lot of ground in front of him the bomb not necessarily planted for heaven. He's going to tap it. That's going to draw Cirque's attention out of the hut. And Twist does not react whatsoever. But still, despite those starts, they have great games. And they pull long comebacks into 30 rounders. And, you know, as long as you get the win, that's what matters. So right now, EG starting off strong is going to be a bad sign for Liquid. Like getting hunted down lower right now. Nap has gone from the hell. It's going to get mollied as EG just continue the pace down towards B. Great shots from Stewie. Any more on oh. the Deagle? Nitro's joined the party and it's starting to fall apart here for EG. Still uh, rifled up on one of these players. But Cirque is going to have to do the okay. heavy lifting as his teammate is gone. The bomb in the door. Cirque can't find it and they're swinging it in his face. Liquid, they get an eco win. That is a perfect start for them. There is Naf over towards Hell, who's available for a fast rotation. And with a liege getting that kill, that might prompt a rotation of Naf round. And indeed it has, but he's already molotoved out of the heavens. The bomb plant going to come through for EG. And now they get this down to a four on four. Molotov in the vents denies Nitro's rotation up into the site. And so for the time being, Team Liquid... Well, oh. I was going to say they're almost like three on four, but now Cirque has actually made it a two on four. And that's an undoable round for Team Liquid. Speaking of events, perhaps it's time we, uh, we remind the viewers what this one's all about. What's the whole enchilada? Oh, a great double opening here in this round. And Cirque actually immediately shut down there as it gets traded back. I thought he was going to go on a bit of a run, but it's not going to happen in this round. Elise is laying them to rest outside. Look for the drop here. It is getting shot from this window angle. Really. And that's that. Yeah. A 95 ounce soda, yeah. which I don't think your, exists, your sweet teas as well have more sugar than, yeah, they do. than you're recommended to have in a, in a day. And it's great every UK. single time. Love it. Oh, hello. No, not allowed. Stan has been bested by Elige multiple times out in this yard position despite the scoreline. Elige. Such a sick player. And Twist as well is going to be holding his own. This is a winnable round for Liquid. They shouldn't uh, drop the ball here. Two on three. And Ali just caught the orb. There's a man in the side of the site. And another one spotted ramp side. Tarek does get that kill. That's crucial. It leaves Twist in a clutch. But the, if there was any man... Oh, D, he's not dropped the bomb. He does recover. But now the Molotov oh. burns him right out. Tarek does win that round. Twist tried to escape the gunshots. And instead he walks into the fire and flames. It's an eighth for EG. And well, over here towards outside... It's actually looking like Nitro and Elise trying to build Ooh. a shelf of steam. And they do manage to do exactly that. Nitro doubles up and deals with the outside push. Stan once again gets dropped over here towards the outer realm. And Naf there immediately shut down Breezy as he tries to reposition behind the, uh, the vents. Double ramp hold now. Elise very mobile in this round. Heads on over to try and help out Stewie. And still, we don't need help. EG setting it for a top hit. Three through the door, two through main. Naf, he's got the timing, he's got the shot. Oh, and Twist gets read like a book. This A site now belongs to EG. Naf 
Elise and it's Stewie on for the retake. The tension palpable in this round. Cirk is holding for the flank around the back and Stewie is about to give it to him in more ways than one. He shuts him down, puts it into a three on three. And now this is doable for Team Liquid. Nap is drawing the attention away with this AWP in main. Stands homed on in and does best him in the head-to-head. Elise now dropping down from the heavens. Breezy dealt with, two on two. And Stewie still alive inside the site, smokes the bomb, has to have Elise's back, and Stewie, it's all on him, but it falls apart, and EG, they get nine to end this first half. Boy, oh boy, it is heating up, it's getting ready to get into the pistol round here, Liquid on the T side, and they've got quite the comeback to pull. That they do. Crowd now. Crowd now. Have gone mild. That's because it finds Cirque. Looking to deliver some action here on this squeaky door. Meanwhile, Turk's going to have to give up this ramper and fall off. It has been conceded to that of Team Liquid, and it looks like they want to continue to pressure lower. He's not alone. Ethan trying to help in the door. He's able to tack some damage down there on there, but it's not going to be enough. He falls to Nath, at least in the site as well. Now we're going to be seeing the plant as Cirque is eliminated. Two on four. And at this point... There it is. It's done. But who will lose? That's up for debate right now. Door side play for Liquid running through the smoke. Ethan's ready for it though. He's got an off angle and he dropped the bomb in the open. Flashes are good, but only one kill coming behind them. Shui with the trade and they need more. They need far more as Liquid are absolutely poured out of this round. EG knowing when to give away the map control and when to take it back. Cirque looks to do that in this round with the AWP. He's already got a first, Twist is gone, and Cirque is lighting up the scoreboard. Second kill, there's the wrap. Elise does get into mini. Could just drop down a vent and take lower right now. There's no one there, but Nap with the bomb. He has got an open plant. He has got a safe situation on this lower site, but his teammates are a bit away. We still have Nitro coming in late on the ramp. A little bit of a menacing effect here from Nitro. He just tries to hold down Ooh. this ramp room. He does pretty good in finding Terra. Perhaps he can do a little bit more, but no. Stanislaw is there. Bomb planted. Nasty Naf and Elise left to defend its honor here in this lower site. As all three players are going to look to retake from the ramp room side. Stanislaw play there towards the control room and will be eliminated by Liege. This has gone pretty well for Liquid. The timer has ticked down. Naf with the block, the pea shooter from the back of the site. Run. And they can't win it. It's done. Wow. Unbelievable scenes here for Liquid. Liquid, they get it done with Glocks. That is not going to be normal, but neither will that be. Ethan mowing down two in the door. Hot play still coming through for Liquid. They are about to get mocked up. These topside plays have been torn apart by EG. So Liquid will dive down the vents into B. But it's another rough situation, especially for Tarek, who's given away his position. Yeah, oh. somehow. Well, I guess he does have backup there. He was waiting for Tarek. Who did miss a few CZ shots. Either way, bomb down for Liquid. We gotta think about that too. He's gonna push the side hole, finds two kills. Now that might make this a Liquid round. Almost able to give himself three. Nap. Full HP, nade in hand, flash as well. 16 rounds in the magazine. Finds the first one, looks for the second one, he does it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What a weird predicament between Elise and Cirque. Just on the outside of the smoke, they were both holding. Yet, like ships in the night, no one even noticed. Ooh. Scout, though, and then a grenade to follow up. It's not going to be good enough to land close to Elise, and that would have been enough to take the fight, though. Breeze on a hut push, and also going to push the side of ramp. So this has been a little bit of a lobby crunch here, and it's gone well in the way of Team Liquid. It's not a player has been lost. Cirque, the only one left alive, he does have little... Above half, and all well, that half HP doesn't really matter now, does it? 12 on the board for Team Liquid. Yeah, Liquid are going to play this round very, very slow. They know that the pressure is on EG now. They know the money's not good. And so they're going to wait for the kills to come to them. Cirque gets himself deep outside. The liege, is he going to check for it? He doesn't, and this oh, could be his demise. Cirque looking for a knife kill and decides against it. Takes the shot while he's got it. And that's a liege now dealt with. This is an anti-eco that can't afford to get out of hand for Team Liquid, oh, and it boy. just might. Now going a man down. They push into the lobby. They push into Nitro, and Cirque is able to double up. Uh -oh. The man advantage lies with EG, and this time it's not Naf and Elise left in the 2v3. It's Naf and Stewie. Now, can Stewie match up? 
in this 2v3. In the same way that Elise could. Naf holding for the door peak. Ethan over in the control room. Spam through oh. and Naf gets shut down. Stewie now has to do this all alone. No ammo and a player coming in from ramp. That's his, uh, oh, sorry, from the window from control room. That's his fate sealed. And a 12th round on the board for EG. They get it done with nothing but pistols to their name. We've got 3.30 round maps on us. I'm very confident. Damn right, Hugo. This is this is a really good matchup right now. Like even though we talk about how EG haven't won it versus Liquid in two years, I, they're always competitive. They always take it the distance. They've even you know taken maps and best of one series away from Liquid. Especially for Liquid, you know if they lose this series, they go face Fury. Fury beat them in the regular group stage, so that's a rematch for Liquid. Where yeah, okay, you know they're, they're coming in still as a favorite. Oh, interference now. Breezy, back of the site, trying to keep this in the favor of EG, and he does a good job. Cirque with three, Breezy with one, and Ethan, one and done. But that being said, Harry, I mean, you just said it. The pistol rounds have been good on both sides. Oh, that's a pick. You know, one man over here towards outside, and he's got to do a hell of a lot. It's not the outside play, it's the ramp play, and this orb that Stan took from Cirque's body is there. Stewie gets the trade. Breezy going to try and pressure into the lobby, and he spots them crossing, but isn't able to shut them down there. But as shown, I mean, you know, waiting around doesn't always give you the kills with players saving in the control room. Stewie is there. Breezy, he's going to try and make these players come back down to the lower oh, side. Oh, okay, they're going to try and stick the bottom. Of course, denied by Stewie, who was hanging around. Ethan right. gets the kills. And honestly, I think that's a really good round for EG. You know, I, I think even they probably didn't really believe that was going to work. Ooh, timing's everything here. Stan gets spotted. And if he can get so much as one kill, that would have been great. He gets a bunch of players down low. Resmoke in from Cirque and a Leash goes through to his demise, but Stewie Back has up. been able to keep this in favor of Liquid, and now they turn away from B. I'm looking at this, oh, and it no. could just be the save for EG, honestly. Like, they don't have money into the next round. They don't really have much to work with in this retake. There's some sort of proverb to be learned from this season about winning the opposing team's map picks, but, uh, well, we might just be witnessing that living testament right here. It looks like a lot of attack outside of a lot of attention, rather. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, get him out of here. Mm -mm. What a double from Twist to open up this round. And now Team Liquid looking to pick up the pace on the back of it. But that's the bomb drop. Naf fully blind. Oh, Zerk gets himself a double. And it might be OT here in the first map of this best of three. Twists and Nitro in a two on two. And oh, dear. It's a bit <laughs> awkward for Tarek. Twist comes up the ladder behind him. And now all the pressure is on the shoulders of Zerg with this open hand. His weapon of choice, certainly not the gun you wanted to have him armed with, but wow. Swiss locks it in. Team Liquid, they keep it going in their favor. We are ready to get it on nonetheless. Yeah, Stan yeah. was dinged straight away. EG have gone for a bit of a B rush into this round as they spot Lick could get aggressive towards that middle area. It's the tunnels that they control as well. With Stan coming in late, will be gone early. Cirk going to try and fight back as the bomb gets planted here for EG. And even though those retakes can be hard, a five on three is good for Liquid. The kill for Ethan, though, certainly starts to make things difficult. The Glocks are so good up close. And now Twist has to hunt them right down on the car. There's one second still there. They haven't cleared it. They don't know. Ooh. But Liege comes in clutch and saves the day. It's a retake for liquid to start off dust two is locked and loaded ready to go over here outside of the b-bomb site sir oh. tries to creep into ct and try he might wins that fight Tarek goes down in the meantime, but it's still a man advantage for EG here in this four spy route. Oh, Nitro, he's got to run back to B. He realized that him showing his face in middle has allowed EG to take that sight, and they're going to come in on a flank. Stewie can't cover until the trade. And uh, now it's him and Twist having to win this in a two on three. Again, the retake on B for Liquid, this time in an even rougher spot. Stewie does upgrade his weapon, if you want to call a Famas an upgrade. But uh, EG, they might just force a save. A map that, you know, they used to they used to look great on, and it feels like lately it's been slipping through the net. And I, I really, I feel like, you know, how much more can you justify picking this if once again yeah. this map doesn't go your way, right? Like, surely there has to be a cutoff point where you, at the very least, just don't pick it yourself. You can still let it through. <laughs> Wait, Stewie got the kill. What? Naf creeping, Ooh. crawling. 
Shuts down Ethan, and this leaves just Tarek and Stan in the 2v4. They've got to come back against some pretty overwhelming odds, and they're all stacked against oh, them. Dear. There we go. Stewie gets all three required in that round. Yeah, in the meantime, EG are faking this mid to B split with Ethan over in the upper tunnels making noise, mid smokes going down, and it's the two prong smokes that give you a little walkway in the middle. And that will conceal EG if they were in mid. And so that's why Liquid are very heavy dedicated to clearing it. But they have cleared it now. Ooh. And so they should start to realize what's going on in this round. Twist is the man that's in some real oh, danger wait. here. He is open to both long and short. And actually, EG have had a change of heart. They've decided against this fake. I think realizing that Team Liquid had cleared mid and will be rotating accordingly as a result. So now they go back towards the B site. Nitro trying to stand the test of time. And he's got to stand even taller than that with Cirque up in the window. Getting some damage off. Seven seconds though for this bomb plant to come in. And that's just not enough time. Breezy not able to get this one in the bag. It's going to be a fifth round on the board for Liquid Breezy. Will at least hold on to this Krieg, but that's not even fantastic for EG, yeah. honestly. Now their money's all over the place. And Molotov in front of it just to guarantee that. And Liquid are flanking Cat. So even though EG get this control, it's going to be a very quick Liquid coming in for a retake here if they do lose the site. And that's a big hit. Yeah, and with that delivering too, you thought Nitro would have had a pretty easy time, but the mid flank has him dealt with. And a three on three retake of this B site. Now, it's too early in the round for Liquid to start the idea of writing this off, right? The rotations, as you said, were very, very fast. So they're already here. They're already knocking on the door of B. But this first duel will likely decide a hell of a lot as to how this round shapes up. If they get it, if they're able to force a fight and take a man advantage, then we'll see Liquid attempt this every day of the week. Flashes are good. First duel goes their way and almost the second, but then wow. oh, they are able to deal with him. And now Tarek solo on HP. Twist lands the dink, taps the bomb, tries to bait the peak of Tarek back into the site. He's going to swing and attempt to just see if the bomb is wow. clear. And he waits for that second tap. Tarek so patient. Survives after the time as well, holds the AWP. And there's been a lot of mid presence from EG, even in these rounds that haven't ended up with any mid play coming through. It's always been a focal point. And so this has prompted a pretty heavy response from Team Liquid to hold this mid side of the map. And they are actually immediately rewarded for it. Elige, one half of this mid hold, the other being NAF, gets the mad advantage here for Team Liquid. Stewie. Back in the bomb site and Elise repositioning in through CT to help him out. Stan looking like he wanted to try and drop down and instead he'll drop dead. It's Elise to go ahead and deal with him. Actually follows up with Ooh. not just one, but two. And so now Elise is on four in total. That's two plus two to get us there. Nitro dealing with the last man over at B. Stan is law. Takes Naf's mind away from him with the Krieg. 4v5. Big grenade landing on him, though. He's going to go down to just under 70 HP. And Twist pushing off Catwalk and finding with ease. He's going to do the rest of it. Oh. While he tries to get away, look at little Ethan peeking out there from the lower tunnels. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame he jumps around that corner. I think maybe starts to anticipate that there's going to be a peek from Xbox or short side and just wanted to get around the corner faster. And that's actually what leads to his demise. Now Stewie goes through this smoke and into the arms of the enemy. Nitro is left all alone in a 1v4 that should be impossible, especially with Ethan holding the lower tunnels here. Nitro seems aware that this is a possibility. And obviously with Ethan already putting a kill up in this round, it should be telegraphed. Nitro takes the first man down, anticipates that Ethan's going to be peeking on the back of it. But if you look, you'll see Ethan through the walls. Third round will materialize in this one for EG. Nitro has made it very, very expensive at the very least here for the EG squad. It might even get away with this Krieg as long as he doesn't go peeking into middle. Man, he even lets the, the bomb blow the defuse kit to him. Well, what's Someone. on the cards now? We're not talking about Tarek cards. We're talking about Tarek's cards. God, we're Someone. looking ahead, and we're going to see what he could do in this round. He does have that there Krieg, and Breeze is going to be the first one out the door. Somehow, someway, does not see Twist. Ooh. This is only good for one. The trade's gone decently well for both sides up to this point. If you think about the investment from Liquid, this has already gone swimmingly well. They're oh going to actually my. catch Cirk out. So two on one, Ethan on 21 HP. And I'm pretty sure those Tarot cards didn't tell him this was the outcome of the round. Oh, 
and Stewie's even tapped Ethan down to 10 as well. This is getting dicey. It's getting spicy, and Nap is going to cook up a storm. Three kills in that round with the Krieg. Right, this is one of these games where there's a lot riding on it. And in the first stage of the Pro League, you know, when you're going through the round robin stage, you're playing everyone once anyway. So it feels like, you know, those comebacks, we saw them happening a hell of a lot more. But in this round, the trades go left and right. Ultimately, Elise, oh. oh, he almost had a moment there. I guess either commit to going up catwalk to get back into this fight because these Molotovs are going to force Tarek in a weird, re a weird spot over here towards this ramp. It's not part of a cat either, so if they kill Tarek and get on that bomb, Suck's gonna be screwed, and that's already happened. You gotta rely on Stan now. Coming in from uh -oh. long, he's gone, he's dead. Suck instead has to do it all. He's jumping, he's running, he's knife out, and going for the quick shot will save the day for EG. That was a messy post plant and a late decision for Suck, but it pays off massively. Wow. Boy, oh boy, that gets very close, too close for comfort, but at least in this round, EG will take a breathe or breather. A sigh of relief. Take one breathe. That's all you get. There's your breathe for the day. We're going to let that one fester. A little bit. <laughs> Here comes Ethan to open up this B site for no one but himself. He's going to continue to fight out here with his Galil. Finds Nath, and that might just be all she wrote. This is a 10-5 half for the side of Team Liquid currently in charge. You're saying you don't believe in Stewie? No, not right here, I don't. They haven't been watching the pro league clearly, because uh, I don't know, mate. I think EG still got a, still got some skin in the game, but no, nah, not after that uh, opening kill. Twisters put Liquid in a great position right now. He's got a USP and he's fighting pit side to the site. Ethan peering right back. And here come the execute oh, for Liquid. Double smokes on long. Yeah, the call's been made. They are all here. They are ready to rumble. It's going to be Stanislaw finding Stewie through a smoke. Unfortunate turn of events, but it shouldn't hinder them too much. Nitro crossing into the site on the ramp. He's going to be taken out by Ethan. A trade for Twist. And there you have it. This has gone spiraling out of control for the side of Team Liquid. Naf left in a 1v3. Does have a 50 And is almost good for a kill there, but that's not going to be the case. And we're going to see EG pick up this pistol round in the second half. And so now as they group back up over here alongside this two-man standoff, not going to continue any longer. Cirque decides he has to rotate away. And oh, they check it. They check for Breezy. Now you got to get past Cirque. And it's easier said than done, but maybe not for Nitro. It's actually just as easy as being said and done. And now Tarek, up through CT, has players all around him. It's a leash from the catwalk to get the kill. Ethan and Stanislaw, two Famuses left for this retake. And this is a two on four that just isn't going to happen. And EG know it. They back out of the round. They give this one to Team Liquid. They concede an 11th round. It's also a reward. It forces a save of EG. And now they buy around those fantasies. It's going to put them in a bit of a hole if they don't win this round in terms of the economy. So pressure is really on for evil, evil geniuses. Oh dear, that's a great shot from Tarek as well. That's a gun drop. So Twist wants to hold on to it. But with three players there, he also doesn't want to lose his life. Tarek inside of the site, still an unknown entity, especially as Cirque. The only man that they've seen over here at the A-bomb site thus far is hidden on the ramp. And this Molotov doesn't hit Tarek. So as long as Cirque makes first contact, they shouldn't know that Tarek's here. And that allows him to swing out and deal with both players. Naf helps him out to make it so... Ooh. And just Stewie left while he lands a nice shot. It's not enough. That should have been a Team Liquid round. And EG, they've snatched it away from them on the yeah. force buy. It might just burst through the mid doors. A fast pace again towards me. Tarek's ready for it. Spam. Trade it back both ways. A grenade could be good, but it won't finish the job. Bullets almost well twisted down to six. Oh man, I don't know how, but Elise is somehow able to take out Tarek just in the nick of time. And they're not going to stop there, circling for that same sort of angle. This has got to be a really strange round, all things considered. Bob fighting from the top of scaffold. It's Elise taking names. Good oh, grief, right, what a round from Elise right there. Four kills for himself. Instead of players going to come into mid to try and assist, this could be dangerous. That's the bomb. I'm not sure about that one, considering they just saw the Cirque there, but Twist will drop in from Cat and get that kill. It will be traded quickly. The smoke is down, but EG push right through it. As like we try and settle towards B, try being the operative word, and fail being the reality of the situation. Nitro's again dropped the bomb in middle, and Elise, while he may have the B site, he has nothing to do it with it. Not scheduled not set up for him to win this round. he's not going to it's gonna be breeze doesn't have to take too many shots eliminates him with the famas the reason being is because we've seen this before 13 12 they may be in the lead Peace and that's out. a great shot 
Oh, there's the lineup, and it should go from bad to worse here for Team Liquid. Nice. Oh, still, he actually is able to deal with Stannis uh -oh. at the back of the site. This could still get out of hands. He dedicates this angle for, because for once, Team Liquid aren't in like a 2vx where they're a man down. Do we can just fixate on this position, and he delivers the wow. kill. Nitro in with another, and a 14th round for Team Liquid. There to try to. Put it all together at least. Oh, Big shot. Bye from bye. He double zoomed on the catwalk. Fine, yeah. sir. Not terribly uncommon to see a player, you know, just spam the wood a little bit when they look to leave. And if Stewie does that, oh, oh the timing not in his favor. Oh, He's no. been holding this all round, literally. For 400 years, and thankfully Nitro comes in to help him out, as is the way. Stan didn't believe that he had a man trapped in what? the corner, but somehow, some way, Tarek has doubled up. He's done. gonna have to make noise. He's gotta get these kills sooner rather than later. And the double peek is in, Ooh. and it's out and about. Liquid, 15 rounds. They found it, but it's Liquid to cl uh, convert and close, and that's what matters yeah. at the end of the day. You can talk about Breeze playing up there in that close position. How Ooh. long he found? Well, hold on a second, sir. Oh. So he caused a little bit of a ruckus with a scout. Out finds an app. That does give us a 4v4. Make it a 4v3, and this is all starting to crumble at the foundation. And Derek oh. doesn't quite have an inkling. He's going to have to drop. That gets heard. Elise oh, is ready no. for the fight, and he's got him dead to rights. 15-12, and the final round coming around the corner. Yeah, Ethan not able to stand the test of time, and now it is just Stanislaw. The rest oh. might be a formality. He gets that one kill. Upgrades onto the Krieg with a 1v3 required here for Stan. He's even worried about Elise still being in the back line. Obviously, he was down in those lower tunnels. He's since repositioned into the B-bomb site. Stanislaw, the odds forever stacked against him oh, here, oh. but oh, a nice little one-tap to crack the first man down. Spots another player at the car. He knows where both these guys are, oh. but Stewie keeps it in favor of Liquid, secures the 2-0 and over EG.